three, two. Hi guys, so we're on to part two of the new Eddie kit. Um, we've already populated unit one. All good. Obviously very important to check all your solder joins because you will definitely miss one or two. But um, that's been thoroughly checked. So this is our unit two. Um, you've got your list here as you're going through. So, first one is some resistors. So, I've got a handful left. Um, so, the first one is a 1K. Oops, wrong glasses. So, just to talk about my glasses, my near sight looking up close is terrible. So, I, went, I tried very focals, didn't work. Tried vet. Um, bifocals, they don't work, so back to the old school, normal glasses with magnifiers over times two over the top. Best for me, I believe. Right, so I'm looking for 1Ks, which are these. Resistors aren't polar, so either way around, but I like to keep them a similar way around. So now I'm going to populate all the boards. Obviously make sure you're putting them on the right side of the board. But it goes through at each step so you don't kind of make it wrong. So here we've got, um, we're doing the one nanofarad C17, C18. But as you can see here we've got four rectangular caps. Um, so these are the two that you want to be putting on. You can see it says 1NK, 1N, obviously 1 nanofarad, the K. Don't know why, but some companies use a, a different letter for Faraday, which is dark. Anyway, so these are the ones. So we're now fitting attach nuts and washers will be used later. Insert unit three from above, make sure the marks are printed on each PCB are matched. Oh, so clever look. So you basically have to make sure that matches up with that. So it's like that. I'll turn it around to show. So look here, so you know which way round it goes. You've got that matches with that, that matches with that. How clever. Right, so that's that for unit two, unit three. So let's solder it up. That is my solder. So now we have unit two finished. Another bing. Is it home time? Or well, nearly. Got to crack on though. Yeah? Crack on. So that's unit two done. Unit three is there. That's done. So we're now in unit four. Last two resistors. R45 and R46. 
Let's just check these are 12K. Sorry, 12 ohm. Yep. L-shaped socket. This one. So that's symmetrical. I'm just going to solder a couple of these because it's important that that's flush. Yeah, I'll finish up enough later. So I'm just going to get that down. Cool, that's done. Toggle switch number six. So you can see the pins are all a bit all over the place kind of want them evenly spaced so they line up with the holes. That's it. So the switch goes there. Cool. That's pretty firm. And the caps. Point three three UF point two three K. So right, I'm going to solder those in. So this is unit four. So we've pretty much done this. What's this stuff for? Go up so I finish off these. This is unit eight, you silly boy. It's here. So this is kind of, not, there's two connectors there that you line up, there, so you have to do the solder joins on the pad. Yep, that's right. Um, so this is a bit trickier. So these are your um, inputs, I assume. Cool. 
Just gonna soak it in.